What is up, Obscure Mike people? It's Bark coming at you with a little something different today. I'll show you some pictures, but I'm going to take a cheap $13 microphone from Fox Novo, and I'm going to stick a $10 capsule in it. So we're going to take this microphone, and we're going to turn it into what is essentially a $23 end address dynamic microphone i've done this before in the past and i've done it with a capsule that looks very similar to this but it was red i'll link that uh, video in the description but i've never seen the cool vox dynamic capsules until i was browsing on aliexpress one day when i was like those are what i like like i like the large diaphragm dynamic capsules gotcha bud uh uh, be, because they just have a wider sound, just a bigger sound. And these, the red one in my experience was a little crispy, but it was open. It was airy. It was nice. So I'm going to take this cool Vox capsule, two of them for $20 on AliExpress, And, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in here. And the reason I'm using the SE 2200 which is the what USB 2200A, but I've got it in an XLR connection, uh, is, is because I just thought that this, with its bright and crispy top end, open airy sound, might be a good comparison for this. So this microphone, will this sound similar? I, I don't know. It's not really my intention for it to sound similar. I just want that big open airy sound. But with that being said, I'll run you through a quick video of the process on putting one of these in one of these and then we will test this beautiful fuchsia bastard it's kind of pretty black pink black pink there's a band called black pink not a fan let's go so obviously we've got the cool vox capsules that i got two for 20 off aliexpress and luckily for me this capsule fits perfectly within this microphone. Now these large diaphragm capsules, they will not fit in a handheld. So unless you find the perfect one, but in this type of microphone goes right into the foam sheath with ease, push it all the way in. That's what she said. And then you've got this nice little Christmas tree base at the bottom. That's going to help us out here in the future. Give a little space to help with plosives. Maybe, maybe probably not, but maybe. Can't insert it from the bottom up, so I had to take the top of the grill off so we could insert it from the top down. And it does indeed fit pretty well, even though it bulges and swells a little bit there mid-base. That's what she might have said as well. Just kind of got to wiggle around, push everything the way it should be. And luckily this was not planned at all, but the little tree base there kind of presses up against the opening perfectly so it's a really good fit and also kind of keeps it centered the way this hole's cut with the tree base put the top back on which you know just for example we can't really do anything yet but then we're gonna have to take the circuit board out of the fox novo throw an xlr with just a couple wires there and then we can effectively go in and solder these wires had to pull the capsule back through the bottom just to get access to the soldering points which if you're doing this just know that the red dot means exactly what you think it means it means red wire and you don't solder the wire to the red dot you solder it to the soldered connection closest to the red dot the red dots actually holding the wire to the capsule so this connects to that red dot so we solder that wire right there, right below the red dot. Super easy. If you got a soldering iron and just a, a steady hand or not a steady hand, this is as easy as it gets. White wire to the other side or black, depending on what color your wires are. Both wires are nice and secure. Then at this time, we just need to get everything put back together so we can push the capsule right back up in there. Put the uh, Christmas tree base up against the circle. 
Everything's working out pretty well so far. Plenty of room inside the bottom of the microphone to house the wires. Actually, more than enough room. So this will uh, this is a very very easy build. Something that anyone can do with a soldering iron. That's all you need and a screwdriver. Top end of the mic into the bottom end of the microphone. I'll put the screws back in. I'm not going to show you all that, but. I will say while I'm doing this, I do not expect this microphone to sound like nearly as good as the SE USB 2200A. I just do not expect that, but hopefully we can get kind of a, a big airy kind of open sound from this large diaphragm condenser capsule. And now we have the DIY Fox Novo end address dynamic broadcast microphone. This is what it sounds like running into, which was the whole video. We're going to use the Donner, the Live Jack M. Gain, not even close to maxed out. We're good there. No cloud lifter needed, nothing like that. And uh, yeah, this is the microphone. This is what it sounds like, the pink fuchsia bastard. Fun facts. Time for some fun facts. This microphone came in a kit with a little sound card. This exact shock mount, which is all plastic, but it's really nice. And uh, it was $13 and some change, tax and all, on Amazon. So $10 capsule, $13 mic kit with stuff I'm not even using. It came with two TRLS cables. It came with uh, just a lot of stuff, an XLR to 3.5, this shock mount. It came with a base stand. It, it came with a lot for 13 bucks. but we're going to use the shock mount, the mic. The capsule is 10 bucks. so we'll just call this a $25 build. This is a $25, the sunlight in and out, just killing my video right now. But that's okay, because we're here for the audio. So 25 bucks. I mean, this is literally... You can have this set up right here. If you got an interface, $25. Now, plosives, not going to be great. I tested them before finishing the video, but there is something really good about this mic. Besides the sound, I think the sound is actually pretty good. That being said, let's go ahead and do the plosives. Yeah, this is, it is kind of an open sound. It's not a real reserved dynamic sound. It's more of a bigger open dynamic sound. It's got the, it's not really harsh up top. It does have that fine grain up top there, but it also just has a lot going for it for 25 bucks. So let's go ahead and do proximity effect first. When you get right on top of this microphone and enable the proximity effect, this is what it sounds like. Again, 25 bucks here, folks. And pink, you can't beat that. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Let's do the off-axis rejection. I'm going to take the microphone, go 90 degrees off-axis. Now we're going to take it and go 180 degrees off-axis. 90 degrees again and then slowly back around to the front of the microphone. I am using just a cheapy stand here. So if you heard some noise from the stand, like that's to be expected. The shock mount's fine, it's good, but cheapy stand, cheapy metal that the mic's made out of, which is solid, but it is cheapy. You are going to get some noise, so you'll want to boom mount this thing and just be careful with it. But uh, as far as a $25 sound goes, I think this is a killer $25 sound. You can do this. I'll put the link to the capsules in the description. I'll put the link to the Fox Novo set. I don't know how much it is now, but if you keep an eye on it, chances are it'll be 10 to 20 bucks again. And you can build yourself that $25 broadcast dynamic mic that you've always wanted. Not to mention, you get two capsules. So you can build two. Two-person podcast setup for uh, you know 50-ish bucks, assuming you got an interface already. Hard to beat that. Hard to beat that. Especially if you want that good off-axis rejection and that bigger, more open dynamic capsule sound. The large diaphragm dynamic capsules, even cheapies from AliExpress, can get it done. Obscure mics. Thanks for joining me yet again. Maybe this will be the, the mic that puts me over 5K subs. Ignore the flock of seagulls here. Peace out.